So today is the first day of bay crits. I have to pack my bag for three days of crit racing. So obviously I use my tool aid duffel because it's the best thing in the entire world. I've got my shoes in there, helmet, got my Koo sunnies which are in here in the glasses pouch. Yeah, Premax sunscreen, couldn't live without it. I am a big sunscreener. I'm taking this little fan to fan myself because it's going to be freaking hot. Heart rate strap. It's all in there. Food wise, this is what I've got. This is what I'm eating now. That's last night's tuna rice frozen veggies, which I just make in the microwave. <laughs> and I've reheated it because I couldn't eat it last night because I had no appetite. And then this is urine. It's actually just an iron supplement. It gives me a lot more energy. So yeah, that's what I've got so far. Notoriously chill at bar races. Very IDGAF. It's not a vibe. It comes off me. But to tell you the truth, I get very nervous. Just saying to the camera. Nah, pretty good. I'd just like to thank you, sponsor, for the win. <laughs> that's what I thought. Yes. Oh. Yes. Jordan forgot to film for our YouTube. Sucker. I'm here and I'm getting it done. We're underway. Season 2023 makes a start in July. The Citroën Bay Crits, one of the fastest criterium series in the world. before I forget what happened today. It was awesome. So we had Chloe Hosking, Peter Mullins, myself, um, two new riders as well. The plan was just to, for me, cover any attacks and um, yeah, sort of try and keep the bunch together so that it would be a sprint finish at the end. Yeah, so by the time it got to the end of the race, I was really feeling it. But I've done quite a good job of covering all the attacks and getting in all the little breaks that were happening and came 10th across the line. So the race was won by Ruby Roseman Gannon, who rides for Team Bike Exchange. Then, oh, they're called something else now. Amanda Spratt, who's just signed with Trek Segafredo. And then Peter came third. So Peter um, was sort of leading out Chloe, but then she let out quite hard and Chloe was like, nah, just go for it. So um, yeah, Peter went to the line and got third, which is awesome. Tomorrow is the same course but in reverse, and then the last day is like a hot dog circuit. A Geelong street local just told me I look like Spotty Spice, I look really fit. What well, you can take the back road and hope you make it on. How oh, you can take the go. Um, oh, I'm done. I'm just pre-riding before um, I race yeah. today. Like, are you going to race today? Yeah, Bay Crits 
they're on, which are a pretty big deal, like they're on SPS. Okay. Quite tricky corner all the way up into the finish line that is very decisive and, and hard to get right. This is Rock a really good touch, move. Trying to close it down. It, it's a great move by Ella. It's really good to see a few other riders just seeing that moment as a good opportunity, but it is being closed down, unfortunately. Another... That's Amanda Spratt at the back of the group, wearing number 12 in this race. She rides for the Novotel Prestige Jayco team throughout the season. She's part of the Trek Segafredo team. She's one of the greats of Australian cycling. So too is Chloe Hosking. She's the rider who's at the front setting the tempo. Right, two laps, they're less than four kilometres from the finish of stage two of the Citroën Bay Crits for 2023. They're starting to look at each other now too, and they're also looking behind their shoulders to see what the bunch is doing behind. And that, that means that their pace is dropping a little bit. They're not 100% committing. Who's closing things down, working for the Novotel Prestige Jayco team. And one of the teammates of Spratty, it is Valet Scandalara. Chloe Hosking is towards the front. Behind her, it is then Chloe Hosking, followed by Spratty. Keely Bennett is there in the green jersey. The black is Danny De Francesco. The big lead out by the G Force, sweeping through the left hander. She's got plenty of momentum. Here comes Yellow. Ruby going for back to back. Chloe trying to challenge. Keely in for a spot on the podium. Ruby holding on. She makes it too. The top three Chloe Hosking. Woo! Give us a wave! <sighs> Woohoo! Day two done! We got another third place. Chloe this time came third, which is awesome. I came sixth today. Uh, tomorrow is a hot dog circuit. So different. I don't know what it's going to be like. We'll see. All right, time to get food. I check out of my hotel at 11 and my race isn't until 5.30 p.m. So I've had a nap in my car. I walked around a shopping center for a bit. Now I'm gonna go eat a late lunch in that pub over there. Yeah. The battery knows exactly what's happening in both the women's race and the men's race. It is really tight in the men's race. That's to come after the women who make a start. <laughs> in 10th position in the series. She's on five points. Tilly Field, or Tilly on a bike, as she refers to herself on Instagram. She sits in ninth position of the overall standings on six points. And Matilda Reynolds, she's in 11th position and getting desperately close to lapping the field. The C5X Citroën is closing in on the rear end of the peloton. There's the lead car just behind the main peloton. And the main peloton, they are cruising down the finishing straight. We are on for this break of four, lapping the main peloton. This has happened a lot quicker than I thought it would back herself <laughs> the track in. Track stand's still just about here, crazy. <laughs> they are going really slow. I've never seen riders go this slow on the Ritchie Boulevard circuit. It's usually a smash fest. That I'm thinking Matilda Reynolds is going to launch into this final corner and try and hold that to the finish line. And going this slow, they'll be able to hear all the free advice they're getting from the side of the road. <laughs> Scandalara at the front starts to pick up the pace ever so slightly. Matilda Reynolds, she's the first to break ranks. Scandalara responds and she's fighting for the inside with Tilly Field. Field gets through in second. It's Reynolds with a slight lead. Wells trying to come from behind. Scandalara looking to win on Richie Boulevard again. It is Reynolds who's gone first and gets to the finish line. It'll be a photo. Matilda makes it. <laughs> Great three days of racing. Firstly, I'd like to welcome on the stage Dr. Liv Schramm, Zilly Field. Second place, Scandalara. 
and your winner, and we're Matilda Reynolds. <laughs> the top three, put the hands together. To assist with the presentation of the Mitchell Turks. <laughs> Yeah, you talk to him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, looks stupid. <laughs> yeah, people across the street. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to put race replay into this because that was wild. Like, I joked that that was my first track race. <laughs> I just, like, love it when things are entertaining. When they were saying that we were going to lap, I assumed that meant that we actually get to lap. Like, the peloton has to move over like you do in like a local crit and we get to go around the outside or something so we're not actually a, like in with everyone when we just joined in with everyone it was just like super frantic like the tension that was there when all four of us met the group and parted ways we're all sort of like trying to get near the front and find our teammates find good wheels like and you lose sight of you know your opponents um that is a tense situation beautiful so there you go bay crits 2023 an experience i will never forget getting on that podium was like totally mind-blowing for me and it really set me up for what i did three days later which was get myself one of these we had our national criterium championships um and yeah this happened. <laughs> so I'll break this down in another video and just tell you about my mindset and how I ride a bike, how I race a bike, because who knows, maybe there's something valuable in that. So subscribe if you haven't already, stay tuned, and I hope to see you here again soon.